Hey, I'm Chris Troy, host of St. Clair County Resource Moment in History, and I'm here in downtown Port Huron on a bit of a well, ghost hunt. Now, during the 19th century, it was pretty common for businesses to advertise their stores on the side of buildings. This continued well into the 20th century when many municipalities nationwide began to write ordinances that outlawed the practice due to the large number of billboard sized paintings popping up creating what some thought was a messy look on a cityscape. Now Port Huron was no different as many businesses such as the Patterson and McTaggart, Howard Furniture, and even the fine folks of Bill's Restaurant made their businesses known by painting advertising on the side of a building. Whether it was a Red Cross stove, a cool drink of Fago Pop, or a taste of Quaker Oats, you were looking for, all you had to do was look up, and there you'd have it. As time went by, most of the signs here in Port Huron were either painted over or the buildings that they were attached to disappeared. But there are still a few signs of these historic gems to be found if you look hard enough. By looking up, you can still find links back to our past. And while some are easier to see than others, with a little imagination, and if the sun is just right, you can find yourself time traveling back into the Port Huron history. During the 1970s, local artist Richard Ulrich created some newer murals downtown, which were in the psychedelic design. There is unfortunately very little of these remaining downtown. In later years, artist Steve Norgren took brush to brick by painting more contemporary versions of advertising on local businesses. One of his works can still be seen today as a sign for McGillicuddy Hair Studio. In 2011, the faded sign for Uptown Pop that had graced Water Street for generations got a new facelift by Norgren. This not only helped bring back a piece of our local heritage, but also allowed passer buyers to relive an old tradition in town. Other relics around town can be found as well, from the old Port Huron Artificial Ice Company to a sign that takes us back to Howard Furniture. Even new development in town uncovers daily bits of Port Huron's past, such as this wall sign for Quaker Oats, which was uncovered during the recent renovation and will now take place as center stage as part of the new Cajun Gator. There are many of these signs around town that no longer share their true meanings and are only able to remind us that at one time, someone had something to say, or in most cases, something to sell. For Moment in History Extra, hey, I'm Chris Troy, reminding you all that history lives in all of us.